Hey there. I want to show you why I don't go on to Second Life very much anymore. Okay, one. This thing called Destinations is useless. Let me show you this. This says, what's hot now? Okay, there's nothing hot now about it. They base this on um, throughout, I think it's a, a full month, um, if a number of avatars happen to have gone there, and it, it has nothing to do with what's what's there actually right now. Uh, Destinations used to offer this thing, you know, y y underneath it, underneath whatever place it was, it would say how many people are there, and they'd list places via who w the places that have the most people there that have registered their club or whatever it is with Second Life. Well, that's not the case anymore. Here, let's go to Neon Frog Studios. Okay, this, this, this said, what's hot, okay? Notice here on this mini-map, there is nobody here. What's hot? No one? What's hot? Yeah, that doesn't work very well. Um, Abyss Observatory. Let's try this. There's one other person here. So, the only other options they give you, you can do a search for clubs. Clubs. They'll tell you how much traffic a place has seen over the period of a month. They will not list how many people are there now. And they have done this on purpose. Initially, it was because some of the landowners would complain that any, everyone was only going to the places that were popular, that were, you know, that had a lot of people at them. Well, you know, if you don't offer those sorts of lists, then nobody knows where to go. Um, let's see if this actually uh, takes you somewhere. Clubs Aramantha, 100% different. Hmm. Teleport, let's go there. Well, there's nobody here. That's very typical. See, it's a complete random crapshoot as far as that goes. None of the stats that they give you as far as clubs mean a damn thing. There can be somewhere that says traffic 10. And when you go there, it's filled with people. The only way you can find places via how many people there are is to go to the main map. There are these uh, green dots that you see, like right here. This has a bunch of green dots on it. And you zoom out to the point just far enough that the green dots are still there. Let's see what this is. This says, this is Mirror's Edge. Now I can research what Mirror's Edge is before I go there by, I, I highlighted the, uh, well, I'm pointing as if you can see it, as if I'm gonna have a camera. Um, I went to, the, uh, to here where it highlighted it, and now I'm going to do a control V. Well, that doesn't work. You always have to reselect this here, then you can hit uh, control V. That bug is still there. Okay. Places. All right. This place might actually ha be something. Amazing. I was able to find somewhere quickly. This this is this is a rare occurrence. This is a rare occurrence. I'm going to teleport there and there's actually going to be some people there. What do you know? I actually found a club. You can sit there for hours and hours and hours, pretty much wasting time just trying to find somewhere that has people at it. That's the unfortunate truth of how Second Life is now. It's why I just don't come in here very often. Um, 
hey, and someone is actually being friendly here. I'm gonna save this landmark. World, landmark this place, because that was, uh, I got greeted right away, I was treated decently right away. I'm gonna go, uh, hey there, how's it going? They say, hey kids, hey, waves to you, hey, you know, I actually, this is, this is, this is the exception to the rule. I'm amazed I found somewhere like this. But that's how you have to do it. You go to the map and just keep moving around till you find somewhere that has a bunch of green dots and continue doing that for hours and hours and hours until you find some sort of place. How are you, kids? Uh-oh, it's trying to cry. Let's see what that is. Do do do. Violet. Oh no, this is a uh, uh this is a hub. This is not a club, but this is a place where, um, well, it's not a club. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that. Here, let's go there. Yeah, it's, it's not... It's amazing that there's actually some uh, some people here, some people talking here, I should say. Oh boy, what's that? Well, yeah, and this is usually filled with. This is like uh, the Second Life equivalent of going to. Um, oh, it, does it did it. Oh, nope, it almost crashed, but uh, it's still all right. Um, this is the Second Life equivalent to... Uh, to uh, Reddit or 8chan, you know? That's the kind of stuff you'll find here. And that's where and any of these hubs says Violet Welcome Area and Info Hub. If you're at any of those, yeah, that's the equivalent of being an 8chan. So let's find somewhere else. Do, 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 do. Ah, some more places. What do we got here? Here, let's, let's try this. This is your only option in Second Life to find places. Because second, they, Linden Labs decided... Okay, it's all right now. Ega Pema. Okay, let's just copy this, put it into the search. And of course it won't work. Can I do that? Ah, they finally fixed that. And it's a shopping mall. All right. So they're going to be all sprawled around. It shows as them being in one place, but they're not really all in one place. They're sprawled around the sim. They don't let you know that kind of information. So, um, oh. There we go. Let's let's go to Aqua Lounge just just to be just to be in a place that's kind of safe. That doesn't. That's what people try to do there. It's their way of it's their way of they call it griefing. Um All right. All right. I'm back here. Um that middle clip that you saw there was from the first attempt to record this. Um it kept crashing after I had went to that uh info hub and that's why uh Anyway, I wanted to just let you know, hey, I came back here because this place seemed pretty cool. And uh, it made me really happy that people were friendly. And I found somewhere kind of nice. So.